Welcome to part two of how to profit from tax sales. We are going to discuss some of the important steps involved in setting up your overage recovery business. Tools to set up your business. As an overage specialist, by the way, this is not an official title. You will be accessing personal information for people, and it is important to be ethically responsible in handing that information. Properly disposing of personal data is a key requirement for some of the services you will be using in this process. All personal information on a person should be shredded immediately after it has been properly used. And again, as a reminder, never share another's personal information or use it without their expressed permission. Here is some office equipment to consider, shredder. You will need to be able to destroy sensitive information, printer with scanner, this will help scan and emailing signed forms to the taxing entity. Locking file cabinet. You will need to be able to safely store confidential information. In a later segment, when we discuss skip tracing, you will learn why a locking cabinet is of primary importance. FedEx account. It's easy to set up a free account. This makes it easy to handle bulk deliveries and defer billing for a later date. VoIP service. Use Google Voice or a similar service to set up a number that will link to your cell phone so that you won't have to give out your personal number when marketing your business. You need a Gmail account to set up a Google Voice account. Log into your account and type voice.google.com in the address bar and set up your voice account. Link it to your cell number so you can receive your calls. Keeping your tasks organized in your overages business will significantly improve your outcomes. Developing a claim schedule is one way to stay on track. A claim schedule sets clear expectations regarding what needs to happen, by whom, and when. There is no question about roles or responsibilities when that information is documented and visible. Here are three top benefits of a claim schedule. One, it sets clear expectations. A claim schedule sets clear expectations regarding what needs to happen, by whom, and when. There is no question about roles or responsibilities when that information is documented and visible. Two, it coordinates with precise timing. Claim schedules rarely can be completed in a haphazard order or at any random time. It's more common for one task to be overlooked, the signed documents needed to be sent to the court. Or, there's a chance that resources are only available at certain times, there's a deadline you need to be aware of, or you are working with a partner that hasn't followed up in a timely manner. A claim schedule takes these nuances into account and coordinates people, tasks, and other resources accordingly. Three, it helps you monitor progress. Two of the biggest claim constraints are time and cost. You have a deadline and a budget. A claim schedule details what tasks to complete and when and how to allocate resources. Having a plan up front makes it easier to monitor your progress and determine if delays or unexpected expenses will impact the overall project. You can adjust the schedule as needed from there. Let's discuss the cost of doing this type of business. As with any business, there are costs, and many within these categories, equipment, online services such as websites or social media, consulting and professional services such as lawyers or accountants, notary, skip tracing or people search services, overnight mail, county fees, document fees, postal fees. The range of startup costs can be from $500 to $3,500 depending on the county and the requirements for filing. Regardless, there are costs associated with each claim and before you begin the process of finding claimants. If you have financial resources to handle claims that require an attorney, then go for it. If you don't, try working in counties that do not have attorney requirements. In part three of this series, we will discuss skip tracing and how to effectively find people that don't want to be found. Thanks for watching, and make sure you give this a like if you found value.